<clears throat> All right, welcome back. So this is the third and final video. This is the end game for Russia 1835 on normal mode. Sorry, normal difficulty. And you can see I've taken North America, semi-taken North America. I've taken most of Europe. So essentially, I went after the British, then the Prussians, and the French, and then I went partially after Spain, but I got interrupted because Persia invaded all the way up to, or rather through Moscow, and then I had another breakthrough where Persia took back all the way up to Kirkov. Kirov. So, right now, what used to be a shattered relationship with the Ottomans got repaired, so now I'm so, uh, not allied, but still friendly with the Ottomans after all this time, which is surprising. I thought I'd have to fight them by now. And Europe is pretty secure. There's not really any problems. And the Ottomans are taking care of the Mediterranean here. Keeping everyone out of it. But America declared war on me. So, they're, I'm guessing the AI's plan was to use the American fleet to aid the Prussians. But I kind of used the war as an excuse and I invaded all the way into North America. And that kind of got sidetracked as I had to come back to defend my own territory. But then once my full attention was now towards... North America, they really didn't have the income and resources to fight me when I had most of Europe. So at that point, I had already gathered enough territory to have enough traction to take over North America. And North America is now a gold mine. And I've taken most of the United States territory. This was all United States, basically. All United States land. And basically what I've done is as I go along, I put 10,000 troops and two forts in every territory, which is just about all I can make with my um, income. And so per turn, I would just put 10,000 and two forts down on a territory and move on to the next one. And it's too much for any of their armies to challenge. So I basically would not have to backtrack and go back to anything that they take back. And it makes for a really smooth invasion of all these territories. So now I've stopped because I'm about to win. And I wanted to record this. I can see on here that I'm about to win by being more powerful than everyone else. Persia somehow in second. I don't get it. They really don't have that much. I would have expected it to be one of these dynasties. But it is Persia that's running against me. Usually I have a strong contender, but they really aren't even close. So this will be an easy win in the next few turns, hopefully. And so I'll just show you what I do right now. Put this all the way up to 10,000. Make sure it has at least two forts on it. And then this might not be enough to take the next territory, but I at least start it. Almost six-fold the damage to them. And we got a ship. At this point in the game, ships aren't really valuable to me, so I, I usually just send them out. It doesn't usually do anything, but... But sometimes, if you take someone such as the British Empire late in the game, they'll sometimes have, like, 50-plus... Four or five tier ships just sitting in the docks. I mean, it's just... Insane what you can get off of that. I mean, you can turn the tables really easily. The British Empire. And at the same time, they can sometimes come out of, you know, come out of the bushes with, like, 60 ships and you're done for, so. You're definitely someone who want to get out of the game early sometimes. So I'm going to fortify this place, too. But I don't have enough to fully fortify it, nor do I have enough to fully take Spain. But those are my next two targets. Just expanding into North America and taking Spain.
turn 109. Is this the last American territory? Nope. 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 We've got 20,000 troops over here. Doesn't really matter, though. Alright, so... I guess for the sake of taking it, I'll just take the last American territory. It's a little out of my way, but... What the heck? <laughs> At this point in the game, you can have fun with it. Alright, and then I think I had another... Yeah, an army in here. I'm going to want to take out the sea zone here. these back to Florida. I could take this sea zone and just do an amphibious assault, but four forts and 15,000 confeds, I'll just, I'll pass on that. <laughs> so, going back to Spain here, I'm going to need to use my upgraded territory to add a few more cavalry. Next turn, I'll probably top off the cavalry with about 10,000 more and start the first wave on taking Spain's last territory. That doesn't really matter. One thing you really need to watch out for is just figuring out which attacks on your sea zones matter. It's really annoying to see them take all your sea zones, but if they don't have a chain of connected, connected ships, or the armies to take to actually take over a territory, you do not want to waste your time taking their taking the fleets back because it's just really cumbersome and it's really costly for you. And then they end up with all these ships. See over here. No, where'd it go? They had an American fleet here. Yeah, thirteen ship fleet doesn't even matter now because I have most of their territory on land. And they can't amphibious assault, they have nothing to work with. So their fleet really just went to waste. And that's a ton of money right there. So I could have taken it out, but it really would have just set me back like 10, 20 turns. So that's really something to watch out for. And you'll notice inside the inner circle of my territories, I don't have forts because I just moved up the troops. That saves you a lot too. Sometimes I get lazy and I don't move up the troops, but... Like I said, once you get really, you know, a lot of traction in the game, it starts to get easier and easier. I guess I need to keep my word and leave enough income for the attack here, but I think I'll start it anyway. I've got 70 cannons, so... Should be okay. Yeah, so they only got 14,000 and less forts now, so next turn should be easy win. Even if it did, pretty sure it would really not make much of a difference. I've got an army right there. I'll just repair that. Reinforce it a little bit. In fact, I think I'll move the army over to take those confederates next turn. I don't have to worry about that. And I'll start taking down these forts. Over here. For now, I'm going to take Spain. Seven thousand set seven thousand added to add to the nine thousand Portugal should do the trick. Spain. Oh, they're in Africa, but that's still the last we're going to see of Spain. <laughs> they're not going to last in Africa. The Africans, they... Every game, they always have a ton of... Wow, actually. Well, they're not doing too good. 
The Ottomans are actually doing really good in Africa, but it's too late now. I already almost won the game. All right. So, put a few there. Looks like he's wary now. Should have done that earlier. This might be the win. No. Might take a minute. All right. So we can take a few more Confederate territories. Let me see where I'm at. 29%. And the Ottomans took over second place. Look at that. And I'm friends with the Ottomans. <laughs> the irony. All right. Level three. So I'm going to need a level five here. There we go. Make more troops. I'm just going to move into Carolina. In retaliation. Very nice turn. Meanwhile, over here, I need to start reinforcing Castilla. I think the AI realized that I was almost allies with the first and second people <laughs> right behind me. I realized I had to change. So I'm finally losing the Ottomans. They were friends the entire game. All right. Missouri's next, and I guess not in Louisiana. That's way too much to take this turn. Oh, because I can't leave Kansas unguarded yet. Because I'll give it another turn. Oh, he says I like I like you. Alright. That's surprising. <laughs> Turn 114. Let's see where we're at. Still 29. I'm not sure what to do with this army right here. I'm not really interested in going into Africa, but I'm not going to make a chain of ships all the way to North America again just to get 12,000 men over. I guess I'll just leave them there in case I need them. Fortify this here. And whoops. Finish fortifying that. So we're going a little bit over time. So we got this. And here. So I'll have to start hitting them. That should probably end the game. There we go. Game over. Russian victory. 31% of the map. Turn 115. Population 315. That's about equivalent to the United States if my stats are not out of date. 375 credits. And that's about it. There's the full map. I kept track of the other nations to make sure nobody else was racing me to the win there. You basically just tap income and then scroll until you get to 
the race here where, where it'll show you how close you are to victory. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.